What's up YouTube? Today, I'm going to explain why I have two steering wheels. So our friends at Wild Hammer Motorsports are going to custom build me a carbon fiber racing steering wheel. And to do so, I have to send a steering wheel to them so they can modify it. This process is going to take six to eight weeks at least. And I don't want to be out of commission that long. So I bought a steering wheel off eBay um, from a wrecked Camaro. The airbags didn't deploy on this steering wheel, so I figured it'd be okay. But at the same time, I don't want to risk like any of the buttons not working on it. So I'm going to swap my current steering wheel that I know is in good, good condition. I know all the buttons work on it. And I'm gonna use this one for the next couple months while they work on it. So today I will show the process of swapping a steering wheel. So of course, first things first, we need to unplug the battery. Right, the next, you're gonna have to have the steering wheel upside down. I forgot about that and I had to replug the battery in and fix all that. But there will be two notches in the back. You have two notches or two holes. You need two small screwdrivers. Take them in. It's gonna go at an angle like that. And if you notice, when you pull here, you're gonna feel a little spring. What that spring is doing is it's releasing the airbag. So you do that on both sides and the airbag will come off. Now that we got the airbag off, you just need to disconnect these two wires. And they are color coded so you'll know which ones where they go. To remove these, you get a screwdriver, just kind of pop these orange tabs up, and then it should just come out like so. And reminding again, make sure your battery is unplugged, we don't want any accidents. And you see they are color coded, blue to blue and yellow to yellow. So now we'll just take this, I'll set it over here. Next we have a T50 bolt that we need to remove and then the steering wheel should come right off. Now we got that removed. So it should, should come off. Just takes a little wiggling, but it'll come off. Like so. So now we have the harness that I've not gotten off yet. Alright, so now that the harness is undone, the airbag plugs will stay behind. So now we do everything we just did, but in reverse. Alright, so I just slid the steering wheel back on. I couldn't record because I needed both hands. Took a little wiggling, left, right, up, down to get it on. So next we want to reattach our harness. Perfect. Then we want to take our airbag, reconnect to yellow to yellow. And blue to blue and snap very simple and snap it back in hopefully Uh, that's not supposed to happen at all. All right, so after the steering wheel is on, do not forget to put your, your screw back in. That could cause a huge accident. 
very important. Then you want to reinstall your airbag, which it should just clip back in. Reconnect the battery and hope that this airbag does not go off as soon as I turn it on. So everything seems to be working fine. Um, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.